Having a spiritual father is important because you need someone to pray for you and guide you spiritually. Um, me personally, I think um, having a spiritual father is important because we need someone that always can pull out of us, you know what I'm saying, pull things out of us, uh, impart things into us, and even when we're in like falling stages in our lives, we can, um, we can always call our spiritual father who um, restores us. We all, we all need someone that can restore us, you know what I'm saying, build us back up when uh, we just feel like life is tearing us down. It's always good to have someone in place, a spiritual father in place, uh, interceding on our behalf. And um, that's what I saw an apostle. That's what I see an apostle. And that's what, you know, even when I first came to United Christian Church, I see that a lot of more of the men here, you know what I'm saying? They're always restoring. They're always, you know what I'm saying, lifting others up. And I, if you notice, I know apostles have done the same for not only the men, but the women as well. You know what I'm saying? They're always pulling something out of us. In a, in a father-like way, though, you know what I'm saying? Always pulling something out. Well, it's important, to me, it's important to have a spiritual father because um, it's like having a natural father. Um, the spiritual father can lead and guide you as to uh, what to do and how to do it. Um, can protect you because, you know, like within a natural family, you got, you, you, you're going to always have people that are out there that are, um, with intentions uh, to hurt or harm or to just um, steer you in a direction that you shouldn't go in. And the spiritual father is there, like your natural father, to, to steer you in the right direction, the right direction, and to help you grow, help you grow as an individual, uh, as a believer, um, and help you get to your destination, help you get to the place where, um, where God is steering you to go. One of the biggest benefits of having a spiritual father is the grounding that they give you, the prayers that they give you that they you don't even know about. They they praying for you, um, the warnings that they give you. Uh, even Paul wrote a letter warning the, the people of Corinth. You know, in his letter he said, "I write these words not to shame you, but to actually warn you." The spiritual fathers they they guide you into your spiritual lane, the things that you are good at, not the things that they're good at, because everyone's not good at the same thing. Um, and they just help shape you and form you. And they give you sound advice that you won't get from others. One thing I, I gained from my spiritual father is, uh, well, it's not just one thing, but I'm just gonna say one thing. I just love big, love big, love big. And if, I, if you would let me say others, I would say, stay humble. Stay passionate to the word that the Lord going to put placed in your heart that he's going to call you. You know, stay passionate and uh, love big. Stay humble. Love big. Love big and stay humble. That's what I saw in my spiritual father. He loved big and he's always humble and a passion for the word of God. So I would say those, those things, not just one. Pastor like taught us how to, as you live your life, to make sure if, if you govern your life according to the word of God, then you would always treat yourself right and you would treat others right. I have gained an environment of love and care from my, from my spiritual father. Patience and love. I try to apply those things daily. The key word is try because we're all growing every single day. And patience is a thing that everyone needs right now. With the current state of the world and COVID-19 and stuff, we all have to have, we learn patience for our families, we learn patience for our social media friends, we learn patience for our job that we have to, you know, take from a remote standpoint now. So it's a very big thing. And my spiritual father was, whoo, that man loved everybody. And I, I mean, that smile he had, infectious. And the people that you see the way they react to him, and you just want to grow to be patient and loving just like him. Well, to try to treat others the way you want to be treated is one thing, um, regardless, and, and to be forgiven. Well, I know that's more than one, but, uh, to, you know, to, to look beyond what people do, say, how they treat you, and just always do, do treat them the right way. If I had a chance to say thank you to Apostle right now, it would be thank you for accepting my wife and I and my family 
here at UCC and the way he just brought us in and let us run and work. And he never once held us back. He just, if you got a gift, Apostle was great at using your gifts and letting you use your gift to help the body. And I would thank him for that and his push. He pushed you. He taught, he taught us to climb and he pushed us to climb and learn the word and stay in the word. Thank you for not only being a pastor or our spiritual father, but for being a friend as well. That was a, that was a real big impact on, on us as we were, when we first got married as a young couple. Oh, man. If I could tell Apostle, man, mm. anything, man, thank you, thank you. Who I am today is because of Apostle. My family, me being a husband, a father, I saw all this in Apostle. And, uh, and Billy say thank you. Thank you, Apostle. Yeah. I think I've said it over and over again. Thanks for accepting me for me and encouraging me to be the best me that God has created me to be. Um, I like Grace to say being a friend. When the when when the when the cameras are off, when the sermons have stopped. He was, a he was a friend. A friend that loved at all times, a friend that <laughs> laughed, loved to be, uh, had, had a great humor. Um, he just enjoyed having fun. He enjoyed life, enjoyed being around people enjoyed having fun um, while he taught you how to be. He left room for you to be a person yeah. while still being your spiritual father. Yeah. And uh, really he felt more like family than just a pastor. Yeah, he was family. Yeah, we miss him a lot. Yeah.